They will never see me here. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, my shoulder's in there. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hey, what the? You're blocking. You're blocking. No, I need to leave and come back. No. Why did that? Why is that? The person over here blocked this sometimes. I don't know why. It's, it's so weird. All right, anyway, let's go to the approach practice range and give it a couple shots here. See if we can get, finish off these side quests. I think I'm gonna actually knock a few balls over here for some kicks just because uh, for some reason you don't use a T at these approach places. I don't know why. Uh, like when you when you start your shot at the T box, I would think that they would automatically give you a T or something like that. No, they don't. It's just it's right on the right on the ground. I mean, it's okay to hit the ball off the ground since you're given a T like lie anyway. But you know, hitting a, a driver off that won't, just won't work. Uh, okay, let's aim a little bit there, I guess. And there we go. Let's see how this goes. Will it go in? Who knows? It might. No, it's not gonna go in. It's not gonna hit the slope and go left. Okay, let's see, a little bit left, and this time I'll cut the power off a little. Oh, no, 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 not gonna backspin it now, since I miss hit that first notch. Uh, no, no, not gonna cut it. Nope, I wanna get it in if possible. <laughs> Can I get it in though? Oh shoot, that's not good. That's not good at all. It's gonna be left of the hole, most likely. Hey, wait, actually, why... Why is that so right of the hole? That's... Incredibly weird. Look at my cursor on the map. It's clearly left of the pin. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of weird. And there's no wind either. And I wasn't mishitting that. Look at that! Look at that! It's right again! Huh! There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> Let's hit far left. Maybe I'm on a side hill lie or something like that. Maybe I should see the uh, 3D screen just to be sure. Okay, that's a good shot. Let's see the 3D screen to see if there's some sort of change in my uh, trajectory. Now that looks pretty straight, doesn't it? I think so. Anyway, yeah, let's try... Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> I just like to hit a couple balls around the uh, approach area just because you can hit them pretty much anywhere that you want to and yeah, it's, it's fun to do. I feel like I'd be missing out on the full experience of the game if I didn't do so. Yeah, sort of. Mm-hmm. But what if it doesn't help my approach? Spin shots are helpful. Can you do one? Uh, we'll say yes. They're tough at first. Takes getting used to. Oh, that is kind of true, actually. Uh, I'll say yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. That. Right, say. Oh, shoot! I clicked through it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. And then I'll say yes. Wait, wait. No, no. It's no one. No. Shoot! I forgot my order. <laughs> Seeing all the dialogue. Uh, oh, they're teaching this again. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I hear there's a mysterious club maker out there. If you see any odd terrain, check it out. I will. And here are the two that will give us the shot lessons for our experience points and side quests. Uh, we'll say yes. You attack, roll the bolt. Uh, roll the bolt to the pin. Mm hmm. Let's see what she plays. Mm hmm. She is going to. I can't judge it. Shall iron his best. Step nine shot is can carry and roll it up to the green. Eh. Mm, mm. Seven iron is what my grandpa likes using for uh, pitch and runs like this. Uh, yeah, I'll give that a shot. I guess I'll. She'll probably give me a seven iron as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. For the fun of it, I'll, I'll give the seven iron a try with topspin. Uh. We'll see here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. <laughs> All right, experience points. And no, oh, my stats kind of went down. I mean, my stats will go down if I choose to increase my drive. So I'm gonna go for the meat area and control. All right, let's see what he's got. Can I approach the. At a uh, pin at near edge of green, that's guarded by a hazard, right? Uh, we'll say yes! Uh, even though I know I could. I wish I could get the ball right to the pin on those shots. You can with a lob shot. Approaching a pin that's 5 yards from my guard bunker is a tough shot, but a 20 yard large lob shot puts you right there. Select an approach, choose a club, and... Sandwich. So he's gonna put... He's gonna do the backspin thing on the ball here. 
I wonder if I'll have to do that in order to uh, uh, pass this challenge. Probably. Just out of curiosity, I'll do this one without backspin and see if I pass the challenge. In fact, I won't even use the same club. So let's do something like this. And hit it with a 2-iron up to the pin. Even though this looks ridiculous to do, it'll actually work well and... Yeah! <laughs> he can't complain about that, can he? Can he? <laughs> Let's see. You did it! You're a quick learner. Yeah, I didn't put backspin on it. In fact, I put topspin on it and I still got the experience points. I guess all that matters is if you get it close or even in the hole. <laughs> All right, let's go over to... Oh, wait, wait, is there any waste area here to so I can show you what waste area is like? Uh, hmm. I don't think so. Well, chances are you'll be able to see waste area even if I don't hit in it. Um, when I play Tiny in the match game, because chances are he's going to hit into it and you'll be able to see um, its live variables. Let's see here. Have your hands ever quit working when addressing a putt? Um, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> Oh, these, these three right here, I'm going to chat with last, because these this is actually something special here. Hey, well, I guess I'll... Uh, yes, I did. I'll, I guess I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, if you choose to play with them... Um, what? No, you're not a liability. Uh, but anyway, this is basically a special game here. If we go to our stars, this is called the alternate game. And what you're going to be playing is alternate ball with uh, your partner Lime here versus Lily and I believe his name is Flint or Clint, one of the two. And you're going to be playing in uh, match or stroke game style, your choice. But uh, that's going to be something I'll be doing a little bit later because this is it's pretty time consuming. So yeah, I don't think I'll be able to fit in nine holes by the end of this part. So I'll probably just... Uh, knock my balls into the hole here and uh oh don't don't panic just relax just relax on your putts even though it's hard sometimes when the pressure's on just try your best imagine your putts as being it doesn't matter if you miss or not just hit your putts that's at least that's what i try to do <laughs> i just try to hit the putt without thinking about it too much uh you play golf in groups so don't impose on others if you just read those lines, you won't take so long. That's true. I have the habit of not paying attention to my putt. I've already lost three, three strokes because of it. Oh, man. What, did he four putt this thing? <laughs> so, did you win? Yes, I did. Sure. So, here we go. Putting contests. You know how these work. Seven or more times. Let's do it. This is a pretty easy putt here right off the bat. Yeah, they always give you two of each kind of putt. I guess it's two kind of drill the putting accuracy into you for those putts so that you actually learn something. Like, if you miss the first putt, you can make adjustments for your second putt or something like that. Uh, you know, it's to give you a feel of what the putt is like and... Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I thought it was going to get caught by the slope and roll down the right side, but now we're, we're okay. We are okay. And this is going to end up being about the same. Yeah. As long as I'm lagging it up within that circle, I should be pretty good. Um, that's also pretty good. Prefer preferably, I'd want to make these putts, because, you know, uh, lagging doesn't lower scores, really, in Mario Golf. You want to get them in. Get in the hole! <laughs> Mashed potatoes! <laughs> Yeah, this looks like I can just leave the cursor as is, and it'll... Oh, that's... Mm, I thought it was going to break a little bit to the uh, the right at first, but no, I guess it doesn't. Let's try moving it a notch over to the right, and... Oh, 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 don't go out, don't go out! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, man, I thought that, that doesn't count! Really? A pixel's in the circle! <laughs> I'm going to aim a notch to the right on this one. And play it as if it's uphill, because there's a lot of side hill stuff going on here. Gonna make the ball travel in a longer line as a result of that. And there we go. Like the, the shortest point between, I mean, the shortest path between two points is a straight line, but when it's longer due to the ball swerving all over the place, that's it makes the ball see, uh, putt longer than it actually is. Woo! All right. So. With that, I think I should probably end off the part here, as it's safe to say that I'm pretty close to 15 minutes, and I'll probably only be able to get a couple holes in if I should uh, 
uh, decided to go play Tiny over at the, the match game here. So, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go fetch Tiny and go battle him in the deserts of Doom. Uh, no, it, it's just the Doom Club, not really the Desert of Doom. Uh, unless you forget to bring water or something, then I guess I could be your Doom, you know, because of dehydration, but I'm talking too much, aren't I? 